predatory animals are kept on a different planet. What about their educational system? They don't have schools or universities. Their education is completely visual all done by what is called an electric mirage. They have a little file about 3 inches long and they insert it into a niche in their home or the wall of a spaceship. A 3D scene fills the room in advanced form of a holograph. There are no books. They travel a great deal. The young children are taken around the galaxy so they can learn from experience. They can use the electric mirage to go back to a former time in their history. They could, for instance, view our planet at the time of the dinosaurs. They have beautiful paintings and create lovely harmonic music and very uplifting spiritually, which relate to the harmonic music of the galaxy. They communicate by means of telepathy and educational concepts can get transferred this way. They are capable of thinking in terms of the basic concepts not dependent on language they perceive the feelingness behind words. There is no problem in the learning of languages such as any of those on Earth. What shape was the mother ship? She was more of a cigar shape with blunt ends and angles depending on the light effect. From certain angles she could look circular and maybe 5 miles in length. These are city ships containing everything new to trees and flowers, lakes, beautiful living quarters. Families are raised on the ships. Some spacecrafts which land and are seen by people, are only holographs. This is part of the conditioning process so that Earthman will become used to the idea of the existence of extraterrestrials. And what is this system they have of harmonic mathematics? And are there any books explaining this? Yes, I have books on it, written by Professor William Connor from the USA. I have his treatise on harmonic mathematics which explains the whole process. He's also done this with respect to my book Beyond the Light Barrier. He has related the various figures, distance of meeting from Earth, Akon's age, etc. to harmonic mathematics, it's all there. Returning to the educational aspects, if there are no books, how is information imparted? It is done from mind to mind, telepathy ship works how she is using the power system of the universe. You have to understand the physics of the power system. The physical body could go but not the mind. This knowledge was imparted to me by Akon. He just put his hand on my forehead and told me to relax and think and know exactly how the spaceship is utilizing the cosmic power to go from this system to the home system. His hand on my forehead enabled me to relax completely and understand how the ship was using the matrix of space to go through the ether. I had to be in complete harmonic relationship with the spaceship to go through the light barrier. What is the woman's life like on me? There are no chores as we have on Earth. It is all done with a light ray. For example, a beam of light will bring you your food on a tray. Families are larger most families have about 7 children. You could have children while thousands of years old, as there is no problem with age. They use a natural contraceptive, a type of vegetable which they put in their food. There is no marriage and divorce. They simply find their mate and stay together for life. If there is an accident and a loss of life, the person simply reincarnates and comes back to their same mate. What about the gravity belts? Did you use one? Yes, I used one to go upstairs. There are just three knobs for starting control and direction you mentioned seven planets what are the names of the others they don't have names just harmonic numbers Akon gave me the name mean for identification purposes how important is time to them and how do they measure it they don't measure time at all time varies too much in any case with their triple star system 
they do not measure time as we do here, with night and day, since they don't have night and day. When the smaller star, Proxima sets, the other two rise so there is never any night. What are their sleeping patterns? They depend on sleep it is a great health restorer. In terms of earth time they would sleep 9 hours. Regarding their eating habits, what are their views on how to eat? They don't cook, they eat the natural foods, vegetables, salads, etc. The only thing they heat, using electricity, are certain oat cakes, made of fresh whole oats, like bread. They are only heated briefly to bind them together. They never use chemical fertilizers for growing food. Why don't they have competitive sports on meat? They don't think about it, it is not necessary for them. Earthman, when he is not involved with wars, etc., needs to release his aggression in sports and such competitive activities. The mean people do not have this problem. Do they recognize creative aggression? Yes, one must have determination and drive to create, but it doesn't have to be aggressive. What is their approach to health products? On Earth there is a growing enlightenment in this direction. Yes, well they eat the natural foods and know which contain the necessary ingredients for health. It is necessary to balance the chemical processes in one's food for proper utilization by the body. The important thing in growing natural foods is the soil to grow them in, and you cannot possibly, as you do here, use chemical fertilizers. They never use anything like that. They simply put back into the soil what they take out. They revitalize the soil by means of electricity, which is what lightning does. It brings the nitrogen into the soil. This is why lightning and thunderstorms are so important, along with the light and radiation from the sun. So they would eat say, a raw potato. They do grow peas. They are a necessary source of protein, and they eat a lot of fiber, as this is vital. They have natural vegetables and fruits, which are scientifically improved and enlarged. For example, an apricot, which would be the size of an apple, would be enough for one meal. It would have all the vitamins in it you would need, because apricots are a tremendously nutritious source of food and have a rejuvenating effect on the body. Now, can you say anything about Planetsilla, which was visited by Hal Wilcox, UFO contactee, and which is about 600 years ahead of us, yet is of the same Alpha Centauri system as Meaton, which is how many more years ahead of us? About a hundred thousand. How is there a planet, Scylla, in the same system so far behind? Planets vary. You have planets in certain stages of advancement, and planet Solar is closer to two major components of Alpha Centauri. These are the two larger stars, and these rotate above each other. Solar is closer to them in that vicinity, therefore Solar would receive greater intensity of radiation from these double stars. Proxima Centauri is very much farther away, but it still makes up a triplet system, which is known as Alpha Centauri, and Akon's home planet is in orbit about Proxima Centauri. There are seven planets that are all together, around Proxima Centauri, which is a star about the same size as our Sun. So you have a different radiation output, which has a great effect on civilizations that exist on the orbiting planets. Radiation has a vast effect on the brain or mind, and consequently on development. As I understand it now, Tolo has two suns and Meaton has three suns, yet they are both in the same system. Does it mean this third sun is in a higher dimension? Meaton, my home planet, only has one sun, and Tolo has two suns, so that makes up the triplet system of three suns. But I gather that there is no night time on Neat. That's right. Because when Proxima Centauri sets in the planetary rotation, 
the two larger stars rise, and they are so big that their light is cast very far afield, and naturally meet, being in this triplet system.